Hey everybody, Jim here, bringing you the first game in the December's Feast Malifo Vassal event. Uh, uh, he, with, here with me today is my opponent, Stefan Fritzel. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? I uh, yep. Uh, it's just uh, Stefan Fritzel here. You know, play mainly Bayou and some uh, Rezzers, some uh, Arcanists. Bring Leah today. Excited to see how it goes. Yeah. All right. Um, so the pool and the cruise will be down in the description below. Um, taking the advice of one of the commenters, I've tried to make it so that the window is almost entirely visible without having to scroll up and down. So please let me know if this zoom level works for folks. There we go. And uh, we have determined attacker defender, whereas my opponent is the attacker. He has selected the bottom right deployment zone, putting me in the top left. And he is going to go ahead and split his crew, and then we'll get on with deployment. So we got uh, Ophelia and the gang on the left, and Frank and the gang gang on the right mm -hmm. I think I would very much like to know where Ophelia and the gang are going you got it Yeah, we'll go something like like that. Okay. All right, time for me to deploy. And let me grab all of my friends over here. Now, I know some of you are saying, why in the world did you bring Talos? Frankly, I'm asking myself the same question. <laughs> We're going to see how it goes. Um, I think we'll have her. You'll never know if you don't try. Yeah. Actually, does he fit through there? He fits it looks through. like it to me. Yeah. So what we're going to do is the hodgest of podges. Talos can go here, and we can go ahead and put uh, Mr. Stalker back here, so that his Tail, cook tails of him are sticking through and hodgepodge can see him for an unknown reasons <laughs> um, I'll put a Karina back here and you know I think I am going to just stick Aeonis and Terra next to each other right here sweet sweet and with that I am deployed Cool. Grab the rest of my duders. We'll do. <sighs> Pick a pult. Whoa.
Um, okay, so that's deployment. Now I'll grab my little stuffed piglet dude. Mm -hmm. Just hangs out right there. You have one, two, three, four, five valid targets for uh, recover evidence markers, as do I. I think you're in the same boat. Mm -hmm. That's something I've noticed folks doing lately is... Oh, wait. No, I think I have... Oh, no, yeah, because Ophelia can't. Sorry, what was that? I've noticed a couple people in my last few games of Recover Evidence will go for the um, only having uh, like one or two, el having exactly enough eligible models. That's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. It's a neat try. Yeah, I've noticed that too. So I'll go ahead and draw my hand. Same here. Um, no stone in for cards here. Neither for me. And All right. Good luck. Let's do this. Good luck to you too. Inish. Oof. <laughs> you know I am not gonna cheat. Bold. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm going to have you go first. Moi. Well, two. I will spend a pass token, sir. <laughs> Seems logical. Mm -hmm. Um, I will go with uh, Young Lacroix number two, who is going to toss Ophelia an upgrade. Mm -hmm. That is going to be the Hooch Igniter. And then he is going to walk five, two, three, four, five, and then use I need an adult targeting Francois. Mm. Goes off. Francois is pushed into base contact with young LaCroix. Mm -hmm. And that's him. Um, have a pass token, my friend. No major surprises there. Young LaCroix 3 will go. He will also toss an upgrade to Ophelia. This time it's going to be the trash cannon. Mm -hmm. And then, similarly, we'll walk. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, to about there. Mm -hmm. And then use the same ability on Raimi. Needs a five. Got it. Seems pretty good. Not bad, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I want to see more of it. Uh, pass token. <laughs> uh, young LaCroix 1 will be tossing the tar bomb. Yes. The tar bomb to Ophelia. And will walk to one, two, three, four, five, and need an adult. It's going to fail. Um, that's OK. Mm. To you. Interesting. One more pass token, please. Okay. I apologize. Uh, um, I'm very gassy today. So I won't <laughs> it. Let me see here. Uh, 
Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, but I need to clear Ophelia to make this work. Starting to think I should have succeeded on that. Need an adult. <laughs> Bear with me here. Mm -hmm. Yep, <clears throat> should have done that, but it's all right. We will survive. So that means okay yeah I'll have the stuffed piglet activate mm -hmm. and one sec check in one more thing two three four okay Stuffed Piglet is going to attack the Pigapult. Pigapult will relent. Uh, succeeds, but it must declare a trigger, so I don't want to blow the Stuffed Piglet up. Sure? So in that case... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sure. In that case, we're going to... Cheat in this Ten of Masks. Gets me the Bold Over Trigger. Double Neg on damage will be weak. It's going to push one, two, three, four. Stuffed Piglet pushes. Whoops. Uh, one, two, three, four. And Stuffed Piglet will focus. All right. And he's done. Well, I guess I have to activate a model now. Um, yeah, it's time. We're going to have Terry go. Terra's first trick is going to be from the Void. I'm going to name a Void Hunter. Actually, I'm going to borrow this. Call it the Buried Zone. So uh, it's the cost of the model plus 10, so 17. Stat 6, I need an 11 of Tomes. Aw, oh, jeez. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> You get a pass token. Ray. Hunter comes in buried. She is going to then just walk. One, two, three, four, five, and walk. One, two, three, four, five. And that's her first activation. Right on, walks, walks, summons. She gets to double activate, which is annoying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, kind of goofed some stuff, so i got to live with it, though. We're going to activate Maris, who is going to charge. Right there. And swing at Ophelia. Ophelia will relent. This is up we go. Uh, happens. Great. Ophelia takes double neg damage flip. It's going to be weak for two um which yep we'll stone four <laughs> and take nothing Philia hey. gets placed within three mm -hmm. all right so that's maris's first move then 
she will walk again and be done. Okay. Ah, perfect. So I will activate Hodgepodge Emissary. Um. Hodgepodge Emissary is going to I think use plenty of wares on Midnight Stalker. Uh -huh. Needs a six to go off. That is not a six, but that is. And I will declare the something in my pack trigger. Uh -huh. He heals one and he will gain a pretty floral bonnet. And this is is it don't mind me or don't mind me. Hmm. It looks lovely on him. It does. Now I'm just going to put the relevant ab ability on him. Sure, thank you. Okay. That will be easier for me to remember. And we will go ahead and use a weary road on him. Uh, he is going to go... Uh, not on him. Yeah, on Midnight Stalker. So Midnight Stalker will go... One, one and a half, two, a three. And I drop a marker of the scheme variety, which is immaterial, but it's there. Well, you never know. You never can tell. And then HodgePodge is going to go one, two, and it's going to hang out right there, getting all of my friends in my bonus movement aura. Oh, cool. He's got move along. That's pretty good. And he's done. Righteous. <laughs> We're going to go LaCroix Raider, who's going to... Walk one, two, three, four, five. Um, and just focus. And that's it. Okay. Cannot equally be faithful with you. <laughs> um, well, I will have Aeonis go. Aeonis is going to declare a charge action. Now he's a zippy move six, and he's not in range of the hodgepodge, so he's just natively moving six, going one, two, three, four, five, six. And he will take the tick tock action against the buried void hunter who will relent. Weird. It will go off. I will elect. I have no triggers, and I will do 2, 3, 4 damage and give him slow. Or, I'm sorry, give him fast. Mm -hmm. um, three cards pick the worst. Hey, that's weak of 2, and he's incorporeal. He takes 1 damage and gains fast. Well, that seems pretty good. Yeah. And then Aeonis is going to use Sever Timeline on the same Void Hunter who will relent. I will stone for a crow, so watch me flip the crow. Of course, that's how it works. Well, you did flip a crow. Just not the suit I need, or the size I needed, so I will cheat the size I need. And declare fleeting moments. So I unbury him within three inches and line of sight of Aeonis, not in terrain. So he's going to unbury right here where he is within three inches of the hodgepodge emissary. Nice. So he'll be moved seven? Um, yeah, he'll be moved seven, and he'll heal to full uh, when he activates. I will gain two Oh, pieces. right, because he's got the... Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's the trigger. And I will not bother with my bones. <laughs> that's Aeonis. Rock and roll. Um... Hmm. 
I will do... Raphael, who is going to walk one, two, three, four, five, and walk another one, two, three, four, five. He done. Okay. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. We are going to have, I think we'll go with the Void Hunter, who will heal to full, and, oh yeah, <laughs> seems okay. Um, Take a look, see here. Um, Mr. Raphael, you all your dudes have flinch, so size. If it's attack stats higher than yours, you get a resist, you get a shielded, and if it's yeah, taller, then you get plus one to your stat. Um, so Void Hunter can move seven. The question is, where do I want to go with his seven move? I think I'm going to go clone him. We're going to go towards Mr. Raphael here. OK. So I will walk twice. Okay. Um, oh wait, what does Raph have upgrade-wise, if he has one? He does, he does not. Okay. So, Mr. Raphael, I would like to attempt to make you fast with my stutter time ability. Okay. Clear those out of the way. It is range six. You are within range six. Stat five against your willpower. I'm sitting at a 12. I'm at a 10. That will fail. Okay. Um, you will gain a shield because I attacked you. Um, oh, and that is higher than my willpower. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I was actually only at an 11. Uh, That's fine. He's only willpower four. Cool. Um, let's see. So that's as far as I go. So he's going to charge. One, two, three, four. Uh, he'll go he'll end there so he's not standing in the rock. Mm -hmm. um, and he'll void strike you. Step five against your defense. Okay, and you're taller than me, so I essentially stat six here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sitting at 13. 13. Good googly moogly. Um, <laughs> well, I guess I am going to let that fail. The Void Hunter is done. Sounds good. <clears throat> hmm. All right, I'll have Raimi go, who's going to walk one, hmm, two, three, four, doesn't quite do it. Hang on. Sure, we'll walk one, two, three, three. Two and a half, <laughs> three, three and a half, four. That walk's gonna give him a focus. And then 
yeah, I guess we'll just shoot at that Void Hunter. Try and uh, try and help help our buddy Raph out. Seems good. I'm going to hmm, use my focus or save it. I'm going to use my focus. Why not? Okay. I am defense five. Essentially stat six here. Oh, nicely done. Oh, but I got a little better there. You got me. So I'm going to be at a 19 to an 18. It's going to be a negative. Goes straight thanks to um, focus. And there's the swift action trigger right there. Mm -hmm. Be moderate for three. Mm -hmm. Which will become two, of course. And no cheats. And here's that swift action. Hey! <laughs> Okay, it's gonna miss. <laughs> but at least it only cost me a one. Yeah. All right, Raimi's done. Okay, um, I will spend a pass token. Hmm. So will I. I'll spend my other pass token. <laughs> All right. So who you got left? Uh, Karina, nothing beats Talos. Uh, and second Terra activation. My goodness. And Midnight Stalker. I have one, two, three, four, act five activations. To my three. Cool. Nasty. Mm Okay, let's see here. Control Alt Two. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to try and load up and shoot this nothing beast, that's where we're looking right there. And do remember that the clouds are. Uh, I think dense. Concealing, or yeah, dense and concealing, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, I will activate the Pigapult, mm -hmm. and he is going to attempt to launch Ophelia. Mm -hmm. He's going to need a six. Goes off. And she's going to place... It's awkward is I'm sure you like some of your dudes might punish me for having slow. I just don't know who. But okay, so who punishes me for being slow? So, or does anyone? Not as much. Um, Aeonis, okay. If you have slow and Aeonis kills you, he can choose another model within line of sight to get that condition. Um, okay. So there's not. That super relevant but mm -hmm. a thing and yeah all my stuff m more keys <laughs> off of fast than it does slow right um okay we will place ophelia somewhere Sorry for taking a minute here. It's just, uh, you know, it's the sort of thing where this is probably going to dictate where a lot of the action of this game goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want to yeah, make sure I'm carefully considering. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.
Maybe there? So if I go there... <clears throat> yeah, she'll place there. And then I will do the same thing. Uh, targeting... Frank. Six. Fails. Goes off. Gain slow. And... He'll hang out up here with Ophelia. I think that's what I want. Okay. But not within two inches that he blows her up. <laughs> All right. See. Whoops. Yeah. That's where Francois will land. And that's it for Pigapult. Okay. Well, I am going to have Nothing Beast activate. He is move seven because of HodgePodge emissary so he is going to see if there's anywhere he can charge to and get you in his engagement there is not so he's going to walk and then he will charge um, let's see here you have a one inch engage with Francois and a one inch engage with Ophelia correct that's right okay so Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I should be able um, Yeah, so I should be able to move once and then declare the charge, and here I am outside your engagements, mm -hmm. but I am engaging both of you. Seems good. Um, Ophelia has a shoot you back attack, but that's about it. Um, as far as like her defensive trigger is shooting you back, and she can discard upgrades and stuff. Francois right. has hard to kill but is otherwise the same, and he is carrying he has a that, um, intel token. Yes. He does have showdown, which um, I think would be the case right now. Ah, uh, it would. So with that said, I am absolutely going to go after Ophelia. All right. Um, the Nothing Beast is going to realize he... Did that fine. Um, so obliterate on Ophelia. All right, let's see it. I flipped. Oh. Well. And I'll pretend that I can shoot you back here. Yeah. Pew pew. I can't. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our bonus action storm of shadows, needing a four. Hey. Oh, there you go. Um. So until the end of turn, until the end phase, models in three inches have concealment. Yikes! So I have a two-inch aura for his engagement and a three-inch aura for his concealment. That'll be nothing, beast. Okay, that's two-inch. Reach is a big bummer. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So, hmm, it's the saddest Frank activation in the world. But he's going to activate and just walk. Mm -hmm. But at least that does get him close. It gives him focus. Mm -hmm. Now he'll be done being slow. Yeah. And that's Frank. <laughs> yep. Um, we'll go with Talos. Talos will go up to move six because of Hodgepodge. And is just going to go. Yeah, he's on a 50. He is a chunk. Big boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's all he's going to do. Just walk twice. All right. Walks twice. Seems good. <clears throat> All right. Well, that leaves me with just Ophelia. So Ophelia is going to first action walk up onto this barrel, mm -hmm. I suppose. Um, second action, she will use well first up i'm going to arm up and toss myself a cleanup duty mm -hmm. okay and then um we are just going to shoot you with my custom firearm all right first please pass it to the cinch terrifying 11 got it currently failing um, so we'll make it pass. Okay. I am at a 14. You're at a 14. I'm at an 11. I'll come up to a 17. Uh, with the crit strike trigger, yeah? Yeah. I will cheat to a 19. All right, so I will miss. Um... And then that's going to be it for Ophelia. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to strike team onto Francois. Mm -hmm. And he is just going to use his focus and swing at the nothing beast. I have an 18. I have a 20. Yes, you do. Double crit strike. All right, so it becomes a straight flip mm -hmm. for moderate for five. Takes four from incorporeal. And that's the strike team. Mm -hmm. Too bad you can't flurry out of activation. And that's it for my um, whole turn. Mm -hmm. All right. We are going to have Karina go. She'll be move five. Actually, we'll go Midnight Stalker first. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five. He will attempt to leap. He does not. Because Oof. he requires the suit. So he will cheat in the suit, but not the value. Wah, wah. <laughs> And then he will go one, I uh, was actually six. He's moved six. So he will then go one. Ah, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And end of his turn, he will draw a card because he was a. Um, oh, showboat. Showboat. That's the one. Love it. Um, Karina will then go. Because that's what she's got to do. One, two, three, four, five. And she'll just go one, two, three, to Therish. And she'll do the <laughs> action of swapping my discard pile, time warp, swapping my discard pile and my deck. All right, sweet. 
So she's done, and it's Terra's second activation. Terra is going to do her uh, time slip, acquiring a six. Is that her leap? It's her leap. Cool. She'll go here. She'll time slip again. Hey, it goes off. It's like I knew what was coming. <laughs> Terra's done. And uh, that's, okay. the, that's the turn. Yes, it is. My goodness. This is a, uh, a very uh, different kind of crew. <laughs> um, but I love it. I love weird sideways stuff like this. So I'm going to shuffle my discard. I will not discard anything. I will certainly be discarding. Starting this piece of garbage five I have. <laughs> piece of garbage. Get out of my life. One, two, three. I will be stoning for cards. As will I. I think it is initiative time. All right, let's do it. Sitting at a seven. Sitting at a four. Um, I think I will, hmm. I will let you go. I will not cheat. I will not cheat. Okay. I will, yeah, go ahead and seize the initiative here. Um, okay, and I should still have uh, 11 to your 7, is that still true? Uh, you I think you have one more pass token. Because yeah. I summoned the Void Hunter. Oh, you summoned the Void Hunter, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, okay, so I'm going to go first, and I don't know your crew very well so if you'll help me mm -hmm. if i kill if i get around to killing the nothing beast is it, it is it dead mm -hmm. doesn't do anything weird like bury and then can be unburied or something like that it does not it ceases to exist when you kill it awesome all right so let's activate ophelia let's see if we can kind of do that and gain a little activation control against mm -hmm. Terra somehow. Uh, now that we're not slow, should be a little easier too. Um, great. Yeah, so we'll go with Ophelia. She is going to start by swinging at the Nothing Beast. Here's Terrifying Eleven. Is going to fail, but I'll make it succeed. Mm -hmm. This is just my um, custom fire arm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I currently have a 10. And I'm at a 16. 10 to 16. I think what I will do is I will go to a 15 to put you on a negative twist to damage. Seems like a pretty good idea. <clears throat> and... I'm just going to let it stand there. So I'm at a negative flip here, and we are... Oh, my lord. <laughs> Severe for five. That'll kill the nothing beast. Go ahead and drop your intel token. Excellent. I'll just drop it right next to Ophelia, who will pick it up right now. Okay. Bloop. Well, that's pretty good luck. Hey, that's part of the game. That's right. 
Uh, Midnight Stalker is manipulative, question mark? Correct. Yes. Okay. So then... Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't love doing this with my action, but we're gonna shoot back at the void hunter here. Try and clear up the mess in my back line. Okay. He is terrifying ten, I believe. Okay, needs a five, she gets it, and here comes the shot. I have a ten. I'm sitting at a 17, uh, sorry, a 14. 10 to 14, I will not cheat. 10 to 14, um, would be a hang on here. I'm going to go to a 10 as well, or I'm to a 12 with walking arsenal. Um, so I'll be on a negative still, and then I'll get to take an action on one of my upgrades. Mm -hmm. So here's that negative. It's going to be weak for two. Takes one, because incorporeal. Mm-hmm. And then we'll do a, an upgrade attack. So many piles of cards here, I apologize. Here's the upgrades pile. Um, let's see here. Talos is move five, I would assume. He's move five. All right. Hmm. Are you even within eight? No. So I won't think about that one. Okay, yeah, we'll try a uh, cleanup duty shot against Talos. Okay. So here's the terrifying 11. Is going to fail. Um, and I'm okay with that. Won't happen. But I will have to discard the upgrade. Which I will then just reattach as my bonus. Okay. Francois will take a strike team action. And that is going to be um, hmm, Midnight Stalker can just leap. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a charge. Hmm. Boy, it looks like Talos might be just outside if I were to go in a straight line towards him. Is that your reading? Uh, well, let me do this. If you could zoom in. Zooming in. <laughs> that is like... Truly on the line. Is that your, truly, your engagement range? It would be, yeah. Um, so Boy, what, I don't know. What is your plus engagement again? Uh, move five and then a one inch swing. Sometimes it's like weird by a pixel. I think you have it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll make sure to keep the integrity of this move, make sure it moves directly towards Talos, which I think we're at there. Mm -hmm. And then one, two, three, four, five. And. Now it looks like I'm way out, doesn't it? Um, not entirely. Let me zoom back in again. Vassal's oh, yeah. weird. Oh yeah, it, you're, it's clearly not there. Yeah. So in that case, um, my uh, ability I will use will be... Yeah. I've, I guess a charge, uh, but we're going to turn our sights on the Midnight Stalker. Makes sense. One, two, three, four. A bit. Hmm. 
cool. So we'll walk, uh, charge to there. I am ruthless, so here comes the swing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Right. I'm at a 15, you're at more, and I don't feel like cheating it, so that is going to do it for Ophelia's activation plus strike team. Strike team. <laughs> um, well, I think we'll activate the Void Hunter next to Raphael because he's going to die soon. I have a feeling. <laughs> uh, so he's going Seems to... possible. Yeah. Uh, so he is going to Void Strike, or attempt to Void Strike, Raphael. Okay, let me look at this attack here. Void Hunter, Void Strike, 5 versus Defense. Got it. No shield. Uh, and if you had no cards, you would get to draw a card. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, void Strike, here we go. Flipping one. I have an 11. That. Also 11. And then if you hit me, I could get buried, and it... My understanding, it seems like if I get buried, it's very bad. It just means I get to punch you with all the rest of my crew, but when Raphael <laughs> activates, he unbury I unbury him next to one of your models. Next to one of my models? Yeah. Okay. And before you say hmm. that, your defense 5... Oh, you're right. You're I'm bigger. bigger. So, so you have... So I'm actually at a 12. Mm-hmm. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Sure. Um, and you know what? I will elect to cheat first and match you at a 12. Match me at a 12. Um, hmm. Match me at a 12. Uh, yeah, that's going to happen. Be a double nag. Okay. And I'll declare Glimpse the Void. Makes sense. Oh, hey, Red Joker. oh man. God, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Joker in. Six damage. Oof. And then here's that duel. It's going to pass. No Perfect. berry for me. Perfect. So then I'll Void Strike you a second time. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Here we go. Nom 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 nom. I have a. Six. Okay. <laughs> to my uh, nineteen. Mm -hmm. He is done. Oof. That was gross. All right. So a few things that I want to happen. Night Stalker, let me look at you. You have a one-inch attack as well, so I am engaged. I'm going to activate Rami Lecroy. He is going to walk one. Oh, there's something interesting I never thought to do. Let me see if it would work. Interesting. One, two, three, three, three and a half, four. And then use my quick retreat. Mm -hmm. You know, there's sometimes I've been playing this game for like a little while now, and there's some things I realize, and I'm like, I really never realized that before to go like voluntarily engage so I could quick retreat. Like, why wouldn't I just think of that? <laughs> that's, uh, it, that's pretty spicy. I like that. Right? All right. So then Raimi is going to... So he gained a focus from that walk thanks to the uh, swagger. Then he's going to walk, uh, or quick retreat. One, two, uh, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. 
dancing around the outskirts of that there. Um, and then he's going to take a shot there at Mr. Talos. All right. You don't care. We'll go ahead and eat his focus. Mm -hmm. Nah. Here we go. I'm at a 17 versus defense. Uh, Mr. Talos doesn't have the best defense. He is sitting pretty at a 11. 11 to 17 is going to be a straight flip. Goes positive. Unfortunately, no armor-piercing trigger, but I will declare swift action. Sounds good. Death by a thousand paper cuts, maybe. It's going to be severe for five. All right, he takes three after armor. And then and here comes that swift action. Mm -hmm. I have a nine. To my 11. I will not cheat. Neither will I. Negative flip. Be weak for two. Takes one. And that's Raimi. All right. Pretty good activation. I'd say so. So much so that I will have Hodgepodge Emissary go. <laughs> And Hodgepodge is going to go ahead and heal up Mr. Talos. He's going to use his Plenty O Wares. Um, it is currently not going off. So I will cheat for it to go off. He will heal three. And I was supposed to declare something in my pack. Um, would you mind if I did declare something in my pack? It's the big damn trigger. Oh, yeah, the uh, uh, upgrade? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. We'll give him a vitality potion. Well, so much for all that work. <laughs> um, the emissary is going to use a weary road on him to go one, two, three, skirting the fire and pooping out a marker. And then Emissary is just going to go one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to try this again. Because I want Mr. Midnight Stalker to be a speedy boy. One, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> that is the Emissary. <coughs> Wow, that emissary is kind of a kind of a pain in the butt. A little bit, yeah. I'm into it though. Oh. Let's do Uh, yeah, let's start with the... Let's go with the Pigapult now. Who will... Um, try to launch the Stuffed Piglet. Mm -hmm. Needs a six. It's going to fail. Um, hmm. That will go ahead and fail. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then we'll um, try it again. Fail again. Um, hmm. This time I think I want it to go. So it gets placed within 18. Whee! Thunk. Thunk. Mm -hmm. All right. So that'll be a move. Uh, 14 or 15, move 15 on Talos there, or damage 2. All right, he is going to take that with his move of 5, needing a 10. And he will fail. He will take 1 after armor. Awesome. Control-M, Control-M, and we're back to you. All right, so you didn't take the uh, 
Uh, no loaded ammo, yeah. Okay. Well, I'd rather your stuffed piglet not get me out of the way. So, what does <laughs> Talos go? Talos is going to use Into the Furnace on the stuffed piglet. Into the Furnace? Stat 5 against your willpower. Uh-oh. I'm at a maybe 10. Let me see here. 14. This buries you and gives you burning too. Ouch. Um, okay. I will be buried. All right. Boop. And on fire. And then we're going to go ahead and have a one inch engage. He's going to declare charge. Yeah, get in here. Let's see. Where does he want to go? So I either get Francois or I get Ophelia. Can't get both? No. I don't think so. Let me do this. No, because I only got five move. Mm. Unless... I don't know. That's... That's... Yeah. I think you do. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go there. <clears throat> also, he regened one because of his vitality potion. Mm-hmm. And I think what we're going to do is... We're going to try and bonk Ophelia. Bonk. Is it Ophelia or Francois? I think we bonk Francois. Oh, but you have positives, don't you? He does. I don't like Frank the that. Tank. I don't <laughs> like that. Um, I don't like either of these options, really. So right? Kudos to you, but I guess we'll bonk Ophelia. Okay. Stat 6 against she defense. Gain a shield. And here we go. Oh, I'm going to be at a 19. Woo! Well, I'm at an 18. That will fail. Lucky flip. Wasted yeah. 12 of yours and still don't get hit. Mm -hmm. Very lucky. And last thing we'll do is we'll try Steel Essence. This is going to target your buried stuffed piglet. Step 5 against your willpower. Okay. I'm at a 10. I am at a 7, and that's fine. <laughs> what, it's not worth um, beating up my stuffed piglet? Oh, no, it's not. Not at all. <laughs> um, the talus is done. All right. All right, <clears throat> let's go with the Lecroy Raider, who is going to begin with an equality of fate just draws me a card because you have more cards mm -hmm. and then Um, okay, so are we are we both saying that I think the Void Hunter probably would not have cover or concealment? Uh, correct, he would not. Okay. Um, cool. So in that case, um, I'll eat, eat my focus and take a shot at the Void Hunter there. First Easy two. targets is... Was, uh, yes, terrifying. Needs a seven or a six or something. Definitely more than a one. So we'll go ahead and cheat it in. Mm -hmm. And here comes that focus shot. Uh, becomes an actual positive thanks to easy targets and focus. Mm -hmm. Sitting at a 13. I'm at a nine. You'll be on a straight after focus. Straight after focus, and I'll go ahead and hmm, hang on here. 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and cheat in for Wild Shot. Ooh. Uh, straight flip is going to be moderate for four. Okay, Void Hunter will die. Excellent. And then I have to do a damage, whoops, to a young LaCroix. Oh, the, the agony. The agony. And I'll use a LaCroix Raider with one more action, which will be to walk one, two, three, four, three, four, five. Just kind of hang out near Raf. Seems good. He done. It's Terra time. Uh, Terra is going How to. How terrifying. A. She's going a. to munch a soul stone for a tome and attempt to summon another Void Hunter. Mm hmm. There's the 11 she needs. Hey, how about that? Go ahead and give yourself a pass token. She's going to go ahead and poop out a scheme marker. And then she's going to use her last action to take a walk. One, two, three, four, five. She's done her first activation. Excellent. Um, let's go with Raphael, mm -hmm. who is... I think happy where he is, and he just wants to try and shoot Talos a few times. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. So here, here is uh, essentially stat 6 versus your defense. And is uh, Terrifying and... check. No, I'll have to do that. Which, you know, might actually change my decision here. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, we'll just give it a shot here. I got to flip a seven. We can do that. See? Yeah. Um, cool. So then I have a grit frantic, so I'll ignore the friendly fire. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to be at a 17. I am currently at a 10. I will not All right, be. leaving it? Yeah. Sure. And this is a maim trigger. Mm -hmm. So here's the positive damage flip first. It's going to be severe for five. Okay, he takes three after armor. And I will discard a card and gain slow. Or is it discard a card or gain slow? Uh, no, no, just discard a card. Ah, okay. Well, uh, discard yeah, there's a few of those in there. Black Joker seems like a good idea. Um, and he was at six before that shot? He was... At six, yes. Okay. For some reason, I had five in my head, but I don't. Well, actually, I don't think so. So we'll go down to two. We can also wind it back for a more accurate check if you want. Eh, it's fine. All right. Um, he will try and finish the job now. He's got needs a seven. Uh, it's gonna fail. Uh, yeah. Let's go heart of the cards from the rest for the rest of the turn. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to miss. Ill-advised. <laughs> uh, no bonus to take, so he is done. Okay. Uh, it's going to be Karina time. Karina is mm. going to use channeled healing on the size 3 Talos. Because he's a big boy. Big boy. This requires a 7 to go off. It goes off. Talos will heal one. Doot. More than zero. She is going to go ahead and do the same thing again. <laughs> Goes on. Uh. And he heals two more. Boop, boop. And Karina's not going to time warp. She's done. All right. Ugh, it's terrible. Um. Mm. 
Let's go with Hmm. I've definitely underestimated the amount of healing you rock. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. So let's see here. Midnight Stalker is defense five. Talos is defense four. With no cards in my hand, I think my best bet is to activate Francois and try and swing at Talos. Okay. Here's first attack. Hey. Oh, there we go. You got me. 16. To 21. Still going to be a negative, but double crit strike. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to mean moderate for 5. 5 minus 2 is 3 damage. Bip, bip, bip. Way to go, Francois. Mm -hmm. um, and then he will try and finish ya. That's two red joker attacks he's had. Yeah, he's uh, he's got a job to do. Mm -hmm. Alright, here's the second attack. I there we go, I'm at a 19. Yeah, you got me. Another neg. Moderate for four. Hey, Look at that. Go ahead and drop your intel token. <clears throat> it will be... Let's see here... Hmm. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Okay. I hope you don't blow up when you die. Oh, no, he doesn't blow up when he dies. Okay. <laughs> I just re re realized he's all fiery and stuff, and I'm like, oh, shit. Nah, he just drops a scrap. Cool. I don't know why he dropped a upgrade box. <laughs> Wait, did you just control K in? Uh, I did not. Um, let me just go ahead and grab a proper scrap marker. That's hilarious. I don't know if you use scrap markers for anything. I don't think so, but better to represent it just in case. Bloop. There we go. All right, that's going to do it for Frank. Yes, indeed. Um, He'll take that. Yeah, he has earned his points back. Mm -hmm. uh, Aeonis will go. Will he? No. Uh, who do you have left? You have Maris and a butt ton of... <laughs> a bunch of crap. <laughs> um, yeah. Um... I will have the Midnight Stalker go. He is move six because of Mr. Emissary. He is going to attempt to leap. He will cheat for the leap. Mm -hmm. Ophelia has a what? One inch engage? Yeah. So he can go right here and be fine. She says, wait, come back. <laughs> He'll go one, two, three, four, five, and six, and he will go blurp. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He'll be done. I see two ski markers so far. And he'll draw a card. <clears throat> Tara can obviously leap six inches and then drop another, and that would easily get outside of the ten inches needed. Any way for me to go tie her up? Not really. Um, but I guess there's something I can try here. Young LaCroix one here. We'll walk one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And then we'll... Can you need an adult other youngs? I think so. Target an unengaged friendly kin model. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so he will, yeah, attempt to. I need an adult on the other young LaCroix here. Needs like a five. Well, I, I was pretty sure I hadn't seen it in the deck yet, so I guess yeah. I'm glad I got it out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Um, okay, and then he is going to give himself the fire... Well, now let's save that for another one. He is done. Okay. We are going to... Hmm. Well, let's see here. So you need that. Um, hmm. you know, I'll just burn a pass token here. Seems all right. Um... Let's um let's activate Maris mm -hmm. who's going to walk six and charge mm -hmm. and uh swing it on the midnight stalker here. Well, I'm at a five versus your size. Yep, I have a four. You've got me. All right. Negative flip. It is going to be severe for four. It'll take four. And we'll just try and bring you back a little bit. Um, and then we'll try our bombs away. This is, needs a five. Uh, goes off, and I'll just place it where it'll only hit the Midnight Stalker, so it's going to be a move 13 or damage 1. Uh, he will fail. He'll take 1 damage. Boop. And that's it for Maris. Seems good. I will go ahead with... I'll go with Terra. Terra is mm -hmm. going to be slow. She is going to attempt to leap. She does not get it. She will cheat, so she does. Mm -hmm. She will go here. Um, she is going to drop a mark here. But of course. But of course. And then she is going to go ahead and stutter time on the young Lacroix in front of her. Okay. Stat 7 against your willpower. <laughs> uh, oh, baby! I'm at a 16. Terror no fail. making me fast. Yeah. Why would I want to succeed on any of my actions? Yeah, it's been it's been pretty brutal. Uh, but you do take it in stride, I'll tell you that much. All right, let's have Young Lacroix go with one, two, three, four, five, and walk again. One, two, three, four. Oh, we'll say five. Mm -hmm. Let me just make sure I have an unimpeded path here. Um, move him slightly differently just to get a little further up. There we go. And he's going to go ahead and give himself the Firecracker Fling Shot. That is Young LaCroix number three. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Yeesh, and he is done. Okay. I'll have Aeonis go. Um, Aeonis is going to take the charge action what is your base size buddy boy 40 mil one two three four five six because he has a move six buddy he'll go ahead and punch the void hunter who will relent with the tick tock mm -hmm. it will go off i will do th uh, three cards pick the worst so one damage and give him fast. And then I will sever timeline on him. Um, 
we are going to attempt a uh, yeah, sever timeline. He is going to relent. I need a seven for this to hit its target number. And it will go off. There you go. No pass tokens, but that's okay. Boop. And Aeonis is then going to use his last action, his bonus action, to stutter time on the stuffed piglet. Oh, wait, you're already slow, so it doesn't matter. Um, Aeonis uh, is done. Okay, I will activate young LaCroix number two, mm -hmm. who is going to... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two. We're basically just kind of try and gunk up the lanes here so you can't ideally get some, some of my more valuable things. Mm -hmm. They don't have Make engagement it. ranges, correct? I don't remember. No, they don't. Okay. So you can walk around them, but uh, at least maybe it's a little, little tougher. Anything else from the young Lacroix? Uh, nope, that's it. Just a walk, walk. Waka waka. Uh, Void Hunter <laughs> uh, is fast, so we're going to go ahead and <sighs> we're going to take a walk. Going one, two, ah, undo, undo those. He is a move six boy. So he will go here. All right, they're incorporeal. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, he's going to have to move twice and charge. So he will yeah. move a second time to here. And then he will charge and be behind your two buddies. Okay. And he's going to go ahead and use Void Strike on Raphael. Mm -hmm. Let me just check Raphael here, make sure I'm not missing any any tech here. Your stat's the same, but I'll get a plus one because you're bigger. I am hard to kill, that's good. Here we go. I flipped two because I have Matt. no cards in hand. So I'm at 18. Oh, nice. Nice. I'm at an A9, so you got me at a straight flip. Okay, so I'll declare Glimpse the Void. It's built in. Uh, straight flip, moderate three. Hard to kill, and I need to flip a ten or better. Oh, baby! Nice. And then, that does drop the evidence, though. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and... Um, I don't think I am going to attempt to give you fast. I think I will just stay there. Seems all right. Oh, whoops. Uh, so there, that's what I wanted. <laughs> I think that's going to be. Uh, so I think I. It's your. I think I still have the stuff to piglet actually. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and tell me where you want him to unbury. I would like your stuff to piglet to unbury right. So technically, I'm the one unburying him. Um, okay. You're going to come in. Where's the most inconvenient place for <laughs> I am going to unbury you. I'm sorry. Um, no sweat. We'll put you right back. One next to Rami, and you'll gain another burning. <laughs> Seems pretty good. All right, so. Hmm. Kind of don't want you picking up my evidence, so I should probably 
all in this guy. Mm -hmm. If I take an action, though, I'll gain another burning, which will be enough to kill me during the end phase. Mm -hmm. And I would blow up on my dudes. Mm -hmm. So let me see. And what is it? It's not actually that significant. It's TN11 move or two damage and injured two. Whoops, I'm sorry. I thought I copied him. There we go. Yeah. I certainly would rather not <laughs> kill my own Raphael. I think that you have movement to get into a place where my larger base size will block for you. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you're right. Oh, and you're incorporeal, so I can kind of mess with your base there. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Are you afraid of me first? Scary. TN 10 or? 10. 11. 10, so I just get it. Okay. I'll go ahead and eat my focus on this. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah, I have an 11. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna hit you. I'm at a 14. You got me. Negative goes straight. Severe for three. Takes two, because in corp. And what's your tome trigger, if any? No tome trigger. That's the one that doesn't. Oh, lucky, lucky. <clears throat> yes. And hmm, how lucky am I feeling? Your move six? Mm -hmm. Uh, Well, ooh, if I get this and you happen to fail it, it will kill you because it's three damage and it's not an attack, so incorporeal wouldn't come into effect. So I guess, yeah, I'm going to declare bacon bomb, my bonus action. Mm -hmm. So I'll blow up. Here's the LaCroix Raider. Needs to flip like a six or better gets it he's good and then for the void hunter tn 11 move duel all right i need a five or better hey we're good okay sometimes you just gotta hope to get lucky you know yeah i get you um and now that's it for me and i think are you done as well i am well you will clearly gain spread them out you got it. However, I will get evidence, so that's something anyway. Yeah. Clear our moved, and move on to the next turn. Yeah. And I will stone for cards this turn. Oh, whoops. Hang on, I gotta fix my score thing I did here. On two, evidence. Okay. On to three, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Draw hand. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and stone for cards as well. All right, let's do this. All right, Inish. So I'm sitting at an 11, will become a 12. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to go ahead and try for the gold, and I will cheat to an 11 as well, but to a 12 after pass tokens. Uh, to a 13 even, right? That's math, yes. <laughs> uh. Okay, so... Help me out here. Does the Void Hunter have any movement tricks to like get himself out of combat and then pick up that evidence? He does not. Um, okay. What he does have is the ability to kill Raphael and bury the Lacroix Raider if you flip poorly. Hmm. That is pretty pretty good. 
Yeah, I guess I'm going to cheat it in. Okay. I have one, two, three, four, five, six models left to your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll have two pass tokens to your none. Uh, four. You'll have four, right? Six to ten? That's math, yes. <laughs> All good. All right, so I'm going to go first, and what is my priority here? Um, okay, yeah, let's go with Ophelia, who is going to begin by picking up the evidence. Just get this out of the way, make it guarantee my point. Um, and then is going to oops, remove her shielding. Mm -hmm. And then she is going to Focus and shoot that Void Hunter back there. Okay. Doesn't really feel great, but spoopy something. Test. Spoopy! You're very spoopy. But you passed. Not that spoopy. He's only 10 base, so you passed for uh, 6. No, because she's, uh, she's only a willpower 5 base. Oh. Oh, so she Yeah. Has all right. Um, most of the time, she is sort of six, but yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Pew, pew. I have a 15. Ooh. That's more than I have. So I will come up to a 17. Yes, you do. Cool. 15, 17. Uh, negative goes straight, thanks to the focus. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, declaring walking arsenal. Or is that um, the bayou? Warsenal. <laughs> On the warsenal. Um, negative goes straight. Is going to be severe for five. The Void Hunter ceases to exist again. Blinks into non-existence. Very good. Um, walking arsenal. What does she want to do? The world is her oyster. Mm-hmm. Delicious. A delicious oyster. The thing is, all this manipulative is great for Rémy and Francois. They don't care, but uh, <laughs> everyone else is struggling. Hmm. So trash cannon is 18. That's pig pull range. Mm -hmm. Can I seek Karina? Maybe, but even if I can, she has cover. And it doesn't look like I... Well, maybe, maybe a sliver there. She would have cover, which would bring her up to... <laughs> Defense 5. I'm still at a 7 there. Um, okay. First of all, can I see Karina by your estimation? I think you can see her. Okay. Then, let's do a Hooch Igniter shot. Assuming I'm within 8, which it looks like I am. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hooch Igniter shot targeting her. This will be... Uh, well, I guess you won't even plus here because it's six versus your move mm -hmm. all right here we go and i'm actually seven because you're taller mm -hmm. so i'm at a 12 i am at a 10 you've got it cool negative flip is gonna be weak for two and blast onto the hodgepodge for one and both gain burning one Boop. okay 
and then I discard either a card or that upgrade. I will elect to discard the upgrade. Mm -hmm. And, well, I'll just wind that back because I'm just going to use my bonus to reattach it. Um, and then we will strike team. On to Francois. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you have a one inch and I have a five inch move. Yeah, I think he wants to charge one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. and then take a swing at the stalker. Seems good. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And an 18. I have a 7. And you know what? I am not going to bother cheating. <laughs> yeah. 18-7 positive flip is going to be Black Joker. Look at that. Hey. And that's going to do it for Ophelia. Yeah. I think what we're going to do... And what a bummer. <laughs> Would have been nice, I'm sure. Yeah. Rami doesn't have an engagement range, correct? Correct. Okay. So we're going to go with the Midnight Stalker. He's going to attempt to leap. And he does. Got it. But you know what? He is going to cheat this in. To still get it. Sure. We'll go there. Get that showboat. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's only moved five. So um, that does not get him in base contact. So he's going to cop some burning. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Yeah. So we have two burning on him. <laughs> one for the leap, one for moving. I thought I denied you. And. Thanks to well Mind Me, he'll pick up the thingy. Very well played. Thanks, thank you. Uh, he'll be done, <laughs> and I'll showboat. Indeed. Darn it. All right, let's go with Francois. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and then a charge uh, oh and that's uh, going to give him a focus mm -hmm. and he'll go one and sorry half one mm -hmm. two three whoops I moved <laughs> two three four five basically get right up there Seems good. do either of them let me check their engagements here real quick um, Karina is zero uh, hodgepodge is zero. Zero. Okay, so great. I'll stay out of engagement with both of them. And we're going to swing on Karina. Okay. She has a five. <sighs> Dude. Uh, Fifteen. Yes, you do. All right, straight flip. Mm -hmm. Double crit strike. Severe for like six. She is dead. Blah. I'll go ahead and flurry into the hodgepodge, and I'll eat my focus for this. Mm -hmm. Hodge is at a 9. To 20? Yep, you're on a double positive because of focus. Double pause is going to be moderate for 4. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Okay. All right, back to you. Okay, what do I want to do? I think let's look at Terra's card for a second.
That's an idea. Because at this point, your, your big damage dealers left to go is Rami. Yeah, and Raphael is pretty good too, but mm -hmm. mainly it's just Rami. I will activate Terra at this point. Um, well, actually, I'm going to pause, take a look. It doesn't look like you're going for catch and I don't know if you're going for catch and release, but if I do this, I open myself up to that. Mm -hmm. Leave your mark you haven't made an effort to go for. Spread them out. You are in a position, but maybe not. I think I might as well do this with Terra. Worst case, I can run away. Um, so she's <laughs> going to time slip, needing a six. There's a six. So she'll go hey, to the first yeah. spot. Then she'll time slip again. Hey, she gets the six this time. Yay. Uh, then she is going to take a walk. One, two, three. Just so that she can see Raphael. And she's going to attempt to stutter time Raphael. Seven against your willpower. Okay, I'm sitting at a 10. I am at an 11. Do you care to cheat? So this gives me fast? Correct. Um. What's relevant is, well, actually, let me finish my move. The intent is, sorry. The intent is to no see sweat. Raph and be within four inches so that when Raph activates, he suffers two damage for having fast with Terra's age mm. of destruction aura. So if that changes your decision mm. on cheating or not. Cool, thank you, yeah. Cause it'd be nice to have fast, <laughs> but uh, you know, the dying part I could do without. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have so many cards. Let me see what I have in as far as ways to move Raphael out of activation. Yeah, most of what I have is things like that deal damage to him, which obviously puts us in the same situation. Hmm. I guess I want to cheat and at least make you cheat. So I'm going to be at a 16. I will go to a 17. So you are fast, and that is Terra's first activation. I could have my like young LaCroix stand on top of each other to block your line of sight. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a neat mechanic. Hard to do in real life though. Right? Unless you came up with like a model that had like a, a placement on it. You know? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um hmm. size two. What does she have? Through the hole. Which is really annoying, but <laughs> um, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's try 
try and bail him out here. Maris will activate. She'll walk. She will fly. And we're going to try and up we go on Terra there. Okay. Hey. Oof. Terra is like that's 14. Going to miss. We'll try our bonus action. It's going to fail. Maris is done. Alrighty. Um. I guess I will have an Aeonis go. And. I will have Aeonis take a look at things. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Francois has activated, correct? He has. Okay. So, hmm, how do I want to do this? And which of your young Lacroix have gone, if any? Uh, none have. Okay. I guess Aeonis is going to use Eventuality on Young Lacroix number three, because it's the one in range. Okay, this is, let me take a look at it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Six willpower, damage equal to the third number, whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it. This is a dead Young Lacroix. That is an 18. <laughs> That is a dead young LaCroix. Mm -hmm. And then no one's in range from the bonus, so that'll be Aonis done. Okay, let's do the LaCroix Raider, who's going to start by um, doing Equality of Fate, drawing us a card. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to swing on the Midnight Stalker. All right. With his um, gunfighter ability. Oof. Um, hmm. Well, easy come, easy go. I'll go to an 18. Okay, you got me. I'm at <laughs> 18 to 10, straight flip, severe for 3. All right, I will demise eternal. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> All right, so you are eternal. That's mm -hmm. bad. Um, okay, let's uh, swing again. Mm -hmm. And this time I'm going to miss. Uh, that is it for the Raider. Raider. Um, I guess I will have Terra activate for her second time. And she's going to declare a charge to here. She is going to try and punch Raphael. Punching him, and let me just look at her attack here. This is a six versus defense, two, three, five, and glimpse the void built in. Got it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ah, nice. I'm at a 19. Yeah, that'll fail. 
we're gonna try and yeah I just don't want Raphael to somehow survive so I will try yeah. to hit you again all right <laughs> makes sense 19. oh there you go to my 14 uh, negative twist and declaring glimpse of the void in case I black joker sure I don't though I am sad and her last trick Maris only gives a concealing to models in two of her correct yeah we're gonna try and stutter time on your Lacroix Raider who has activated I'm sorry what what you say you're doing stutter time stutter time on the Raider Cool. 14. Uh, it's the first of my willpower. Yeah. And you also have bigger they are, so I'm at a 17. That will fail. Terra will be done. Some good flips. <laughs> All right. We'll go with Raimi here. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Question. Does your uh, Midnight Stalker ever drop his evidence during that demise? Oh, he eternal. Sure, he, um, sure he sure does. Okay, sweet. Put it like right there. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, Raimi will go ahead and. Well, I've already got the demise eternal out of the way. I think I gotta just try and put bullets in him and see if I can see if I can off him. Um, oh, here's what I'll do though. My damage track is two, three, five. Yeah, so I'm going to walk first in such a way that uh, the Midnight Stalker is directly in between um, Terra and me. So that, correct me if I'm wrong here, if I flip a crow, I will get to declare no witnesses? Um, that sounds correct. Okay. So yeah, I'll walk as such, which is going to give me a focus. Mm -hmm. I'll use that focus to, yeah, go ahead and shoot the Midnight Stalker here. Well, I'm at a 15. I'm at a 12, so you hit with a straight flip. And this is no witnesses on the crow. Straight flip is going to be moderate for four. That'll kill. All right. Um, and that's it for Raimi. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I only have the Hodgepodge Emissary left. And he's okay. going to heal when he activates. He's going to weary road himself to the base with Francois. And poop out a scheme marker. And I'll just put it to <laughs> And... What shall I do? I think I will go ahead and... <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I, will tramp I will attempt to trampling hooves, Francois. Trampling hooves. You Six. got it. Let me take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Trampling the hooves, six, first defense, two, three, four, injured one, place in base contact, got it. Um, and are we unimpeded as far as sight lines go? We are, you have positives. All right, so I'm going to be at a, a 16. That will fail. I will elect... Or a 17, I think, but anyway. More than my 11. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, yes. I will then plenty of wares myself, and that will fail. He's done. Uh, um, is your hand just like total garbage, or <laughs> you'll see it? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, young Lacroix, two here is going to walk. Uh, to there is going to I need an adult on the raider is going to fail um, we'll go ahead and give itself the firecracker fling shot at upgrade 2 ok 
Okay. Um, young LaCroix 1 is going to walk. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's see if he has a shot on Terra. Does not look like it. Um, I should have shot before I moved. So he'll just focus. And that leaves just the Pigapult, who is going to uh, begin by trying to launch the young LaCroix. Mm -hmm. Needs a five, I think. Better check and confirm, but I think so. Pigapult. Oh, no, it needs a six. Uh, <laughs> conflating that with I need an adult. Uh, so it's going to fail, and he's going to try again. It needs a six. Got it. Places as such. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not quite there. Places, we'll call it there. Mm -hmm. And then, so that's going to be a move 15 for Terra. Terra will pass. She's got it. Mm-hmm. Um, and that will be the turn. Okay. Uh, both of us are going to get evidence again. Oh, whoops. Um, and do you reveal... And then do you have a second... No schemes yet. Okay. Um, let's go into turn four. You got it. I take a point of damage on Hodgepodge Emissary. Mm, I have some shielded that needs to fall off. No, discard the five and four of crows. <coughs> Blech. I will stone for cards. I will not. Get rid of a one and a four. And ready for initiative. You'll have four more than me. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> no cheats. Okay. Um, I will go first. I have Terra, Aeonis, and Hodgepodge. You have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Eight to my three, so I have five pass tokens. Um, so how do we want to do this? Don't know how these last two turns are going to go, but what I will say is I think that this has been a very, that the score is going to be very tight at the end. For sure. Um, I think I will start with Terra. And Terra's first trick is going to be doing a time slip. Hey, it goes off. Hey, buddy. Ah! Um, I'm going to introduce you to life with a hole in one's chest. <laughs> By putting a hole in my chest? Yes. Soulstone sword. Okay. That is a 16. Ugh. Yes. 16 to defense. I will go to a 11. Okay. I will declare the built in glimpse the void. Negative twist to damage. Take moderate three. Okay. Needs a nine. Fails. And let me see here. I think I really, really don't want to be buried if I'm understanding. Terra correctly, so I'll cheat it. Okay. 
um, Tara is going to punch you again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's a 12. I will come up to a 13. 13. Googly moogly, sir. I will go to a 15 and declare Glimpse the Void. All right. Negative twist. Hey, Mercury. <laughs> Here you go, man. Yeah. And. Uh, all right. Um, and you know what? Hmm. Do I want to stutter time you, knowing that you'll gain a shielded from it and live? Mm. I don't. So, Terra will be done her first activation there. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go with Raimi before he dies. Mm -hmm. He's going to use his quick retreat. Two, three, four. He'll pick up this evidence mm -hmm. as evidenced by me removing it. You're welcome. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, and then second AP, we're just going to take a shot at Terra. Maybe it goes through the hole, but, you know, yeah, maybe not. Happen. I am at a 16 currently. I am at an 11. I think I will cheat this for it to go through <laughs> the hole. Missed. Mm -hmm. That is it for Rami. Mm -hmm. I think I am going to How do I secure points? I think we go with Terra for her second activation. I think that makes sense. She will charge Raimi. And she will punch Raimi. Come on, buddy. 16. Uh. Man. Um... I hate to just use all my cards, but if I can prevent you from getting a point, well, but then again, even if you knock me to one. Um, and I don't have an engage. Yeah, no cheats. Uh, I'm going to be at a six. Six to 16 will be a straight flip, and you'll take a glimpse of the void test. Show me that black joker. No. That'll be a dropped intel. Go ahead and take your test. There we go. I will still elect to uh, pick up the intel with my second action. Mm-hmm. Because I hear that's good. <laughs> and, you know, Tara's going to go ahead and try and stutter time you this time on Raimi. On Raimi? Okay. I have an 11. Maron, um, I'm at a lower, and I'm not going to cheat. I'll be fast. Yeah. So Tara will be done for realsies. <laughs> She's done, done, finally. All right, let's go with Francois. We're going to try and chop up a, uh, a hodgepodge here. Um, yep, just gonna swing. Here we go. Mm. Oh, man. Right. 20 with, uh... Double crit. Crit strike. But I am not gonna cheat, so go ahead and have your negative to damage. We'll be weak for four. I dropped my intel token. Excellent. Well, you dropped the intel token, but... Oh, yeah, sure. I'll just go ahead and drop that right next to me. Um... 
cool. And we will second AP, try to finish the job here. I am at a 16. I will come up to an 18. Hey, it's a 19. Hey, there you go. Um, I think I got to try a discard to flurry. Here we go. I'm sitting at a 14. Ah, uh, you got me. Ah, oh, man. Well, still a black joker in play. No black joker. Gotcha. Uh, sucks to toss a severe to a flurry, but, you know, just go for it sometimes. And I, I believe, am I on the other side out of line of sight of Aonis? Is that true, or am I in the terrain? Uh, you are not in the concealing dense cloud, so I cannot Fant see you. Fantastic. So I'll stay where I am, because if I was in there, then I could just ambush out. But since I'm not, I will already be out. Mm -hmm. Any who's a loozel, back to you. All right. Well, I have exactly one model to go. So I think I'll just go ahead and go with him. A Logical. is going to take a walk. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he will declare a charge on Ophelia. Mm -hmm. To be just in. And stat six against your willpower. All right. I'll be essentially a six. And I'm going to be at an 11. You got me. I'm at a 12. I will elect to do a negative twist to damage and give you my choice of slow. Um, I'm sorry, what's your total? 11. 11? Yeah. Single neg, uh, two damage, and slow. So you take one because of shielded. And then... And then... Yeah, and I don't think... Let me just... Sorry, let me look at my upgrades here. Yeah, no, I can't reduced to zero with those. So, yep, that sticks. And uh, for what it's worth, I'll go ahead and I will try uh, concealment getting in the way to make Francois fast. So I'm on eggs. Okay. I have... This is um, versus my willpower? Sure is. So I'm going to be at a 15... I'm at a 14. It'll fail. All right. <clears throat> Turn is yours, sir. And that's all of your models for realsies? For realsies. Got it. Cool. We'll go with uh, Young LaCroix, who's going to attempt to need an adult on the Raider. Mm -hmm. Needs a five. Goes off. Raider is pushed into base contact. Whoops. Three, four, five, six. There we go. Um, and then second action will be to uh yeah just take a neg flip shot at tara seems good well i'm still at a like a 11 14. <laughs> not good enough though mm -hmm. um okay so that's it for young lacroix uh lacroix raider will Hmm. We'll take a... Uh, which one do I go with? Okay, 
Um, he is going to activate, and he is going to. No, I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm going to start with Maris. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Um, so Maris is going to charge, doing a. Up we go. Obviously, targeting Terra. I'm at a four. I'm at a six. Uh, go ahead. All right. Negative flip will be weak for two. Takes two. And then I'll drop you in the fire. Okay. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Terra Inferno. <laughs> anyway. Oh, boy, that's going on YouTube, isn't it? Sure is. Anyway. <laughs> I'll try my uh, Flaming Bottle Shockwave. This needs a 7. Mm -hmm. It's going to go with Blaze. Um, so Terra, move 12 or, or damage 1, burning 2, thanks to the Blaze. Okay. And then I will do my Bombs Away bonus action. Needs a 5. Fails. Uh, great. So that's Maris. Um, LaCroix Raider will do his... Uh, uh, fuck, what's it called? Um, a risky maneuver. It's going to take a damage. Mm -hmm. Gain focused one. And push three inches. One, two, three. Uh, first action will be to drop a ski marker. Mm -hmm. Second action will be to take that focused shot on Terra. Okay. I'm Black Joker. Wah, wah. Frustrating, but it's fine. That's him. Um, Young LaCroix 1 is going to try and take a shot at Terra. Mm -hmm. I'm at 16. Yes, you are. You got me. I am at a 12, so you're on a negative to damage. 16 to 12, negative, uh, no triggers. That's fine. That'll be weak for one. Takes one. Second action, he'll try it again. That's 18. Looks like I'm going to miss that one. <laughs> oh, pick a Pult. Pick a Pult will move one, two, three. And then we'll take a shot at Terra. Six versus defense. All right. Whoa, Red Joker. Hey, I've got a 17. 17 to my 20. I would have been really disappointed if you flipped a, uh, a mask there. Yeah. It's going to be weak for two. Uh, she'll eat her last soul stone here. And I'll prevent one. Okay. Hmm. We will activate Ophelia because I think that's all that's left. She will um, attempt to she will attempt to disengage. Okay, I will attempt to keep you there. Attempt to engage. I'm at a perfect. I'm at a enough. Mm -hmm. And I'm allowed to push myself off the barrel and then keep moving, right? Yeah. Okay. Still some movement rules that despite playing for a while, it's like, how exactly does this work again? Mm -hmm. She'll push as such. Um, her second and final real action will be spent taking a... <sighs> custom... Yeah, we'll do a custom firearm action. We're going to shoot Terra. Okay. I'm at a 13. I'm at a 13 as well. You got me. Okay. And I will declare worthy opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a double nag. It's going to be moderate for four. Takes four. And then... 
um, worthy opponent lets me draw a card. If the target was killed, discard a card. You are not. You are a worthy opponent. Um, and then we will take a sidearm shot at Aonis. Okay. There's my mask. Yeah. Doesn't well, matter. 17? Gonna be at a 18. Yeah. With wild shot showing, um, which I think I will declare. Mm -hmm. Uh, 17, 18, negative flip is going to be moderate for four. It takes four. And wild shot deals one damage within range and line of sight of this model. So I guess that only means Maris. Um, and then I guess I could discard a card to strike team, um... But I don't want to. Okay. So that will be the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. I will obviously reveal Leave Your Mark. And then I will reveal Assassinate. Yep, yep. I will. I think we both score the strategy this turn. Mm hmm. I'll let you score yours. I will not reveal any of my schemes. Right, my other scheme, rather. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, score VP. Player one, there we go, perfect. And we reshuffle, going into turn five. Um, Terra will take one damage from burning. I will discard my four and draw a hand. I will discard the one of rams, the three of rams, and the three of crows. Dude! <laughs> there we go, that is a hand. All right. And I will not be stoning for cards. Mm -hmm. Initiative. I have a 14. <laughs> well, I don't think I could beat that if I tried, so I will not be cheating. Okay. So One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for me. How do I want to do this? I think I will elect to go first. And. Oh, and your leave your mark marker went away. Oh, yes, thank you. I got it. Um, the most likely points I'm going to get come from Terra activating before you kill her. <laughs> so. Um, she is going to not be in range to charge the, let's see, Raider versus Maris. Who has the lower defense? I think Raider's going to be your better bet, because um, they both have pretty low defense. Um, Maris also but Maris... when she dies. Exactly. Maris blows up. So we'll have Terra um, gain a burning because she's going to take her time slip action. Mm -hmm. She will cheat for it to go off. Mm -hmm. So she will place in here to be within an inch of your buddy. Yeah. And she is going to cur punch the raider. All right. That is a 15 versus defense. 15 to my 12. You have the baked in. Make me berry. Mm -hmm. um, no cheats. All right. So negative to damage. As going to be week of two. And take your test. Yeah. Failing currently, but I want to succeed. Okay. We're going to try it again. I have a 14. Yeah. 14. Um... I'll cheat to a f uh, 13. A 13, you say? 
Um, I will go to a 15, so it'll be a negative with a glimpse the void trigger. Um, you were already hitting me. Is that something you oh, realized? I, I, it was not. That's okay. Um, I was like, why are you cheating? So <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Moderate three. Moderate for three. That'll take me down to one. Mm -hmm. And I'll drop an evidence token. Go ahead and take your test to Barry. Man, it's not passing any of those. Um, and so this will bury me, um, which means what basically that like you can attack me uh, while I'm buried. Is that the the, the main? That's the main thing. Yeah. Okay. Um. And this is Tara's last action, right? This is, although she can stutter time. At least this activation. Mm -hmm. Stutter time, yeah, which would make me fast. And then does it do anything else that I need to be concerned about? There's a leeching strength trigger on a crow. Ah, to deal one damage to me and heal one. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll pass it. Okay. So in that case, we are going to go ahead and we will attempt to... Um, uh, we will not bother with her trigger. She's done. Or she, uh, we're not going to bother with stutter time. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, hmm. I guess my best bet here is going to be to go with Ophelia. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll walk one, two, three, four, whatever, and then charge one, two, three, okay. and She's going to take a swing at Terra. Sounds good. I'll be at a 17. Terra is at an 11. I will. You said 17? Yes. Go ahead and take your negative twist. Uh, 17 to 11, a uh, difference of 6 by my uh, count. That is That is how that works. There. Now take your negative. All right. <laughs> negative will be weak for two. And that's a walking arsenal as well yeah, on that she, mask. She will die. Okay. And the walking arsenal attack is going to be a tar bomb here against Aeonis. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, no, not a tar bomb. Uh, Hooch igniter. Hooch igniter. This is going to be uh, six versus your move. Mm-hmm. Or seven, basically, versus your move. I have a uh, it's going to fail. Uh, um, ten. To, uh, uh, that's okay. It'll fail. So I will remove the Hooch Igniter, but I will just reattach it with my bonus. Mm -hmm. Um. Sorry, hang on here. Mm -hmm. That was walk, charge, so one more. Um, and yeah, we're just going to... Yeah, do our custom firearm against Aeonis. Okay. I'll be at a 14. I am at a 13. And you know what? I'll go ahead to a 16. 16. I'll come meet you at a 16 with worthy opponent. Okay. Double neg. Weak for two. He'll take two. And worthy opponent will let me draw a card. And then end of Ophelia's activation. Looks like Francois is out of reach. So 
I will strike team onto the LaCroix Raider mm -hmm. by discarding a card. And he will... Walk uh, one, two, three. He'll walk basically right to this corner here. Mm -hmm. I guess he doesn't even care if he gets burning, but whatever. We'll just do that. He's done. Okay. Well, I'll just go ahead and go with Aeonis. And mm -hmm. we're going we're gonna to try eventuality on Ophelia. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. At six versus your willpower. I'm at an eight. I am at a fourteen. Eight to fourteen. Uh, no cheats here. I'll take five. Five damage. Oof. And now I'll go ahead. That is an attack, obviously, right? It is an attack. Yes. Yes. Um, I will go ahead and TikTok you with my second action. Okay. I have an 8 versus your willpower. Well, I'm at a 9. Alright. I am going to go to an 18. Oof. 18 to 9. You got it. Straight flip. Straight flip. I'll give you slow just because I can. Sure. Aww. Oh. If you have assassinate, I'm going to be so sad right now. Well, that's the end of everything I can do. Actually, no, it's not. I, All right. I will stutter time Ophelia. Okay, sure. Stat 6 against your willpower. Looks like I'm going to be at a 17. I am also at a 17. You'll gain fast. Now I'm done. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see what I can do here. Frank will uh, pick up the evidence um, mm -hmm. and will, um, I don't think there's anything else useful he could do. He could try and chop Aonis, but I don't think that that will, that will matter for anything we need to. <laughs> yeah, great. So really? I will go with... Uh, what was that? I said, really, right now, it's a matter of can you get three markers in the center? Exactly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Young LaCroix 2, who's going to walk. Whoops. And a little bit more, and he's going to try, and I need an adult on Raimi. Is going to succeed. Raimi gets pushed into base contact. Awesome. Um, then I will go with the uh, young LaCroix one, who is going to walk one, two, three. Well, I can can I can climb down, right? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to try to need an adult on Maris. It's going to succeed. Okay, um, LaCroix Raider will walk somewhere and drop a scheme marker. Um, not quite there. Whoops, I grabbed yours. Grab a scheme marker. Okay, um, Raimi will walk, drop a scheme marker. And then Maris will walk and drop a scheme marker. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to be the game. Uh, that is. So final score will be uh, 8 to 3. So good game. Oh, rough, man. That was a, that was a fun game. Um, Terra is a little scary. Um, but man, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but were your hands garbage the entire game? <laughs> I, I think I had one turn where I had more than a single severe in hand at the start of the game after. Ugh. Ugh. 
Yeah, that's terrible. And it's not like you have... You don't really have a ton of card draw, do you? Oh, we, I have none. Tara doesn't have card draw yeah. in, in, in her keyword. I could take a Prospector, but what I, was mm. try, what I was trying to do here was A, play into that only taking five models that are all relatively hard to kill because I figured yeah. everything being manipulative or terrifying, I knew you have... You know, I, I've played my time of Bayou too. Yeah. I know you have Ruthless on a stick, and that doesn't make up for the fact that if my entire crew has these defensive things, you're, my thought was you'd have to have two models that could really mess with me, and if I could get in and slow slash tie them up, then I would be able to blunt your offense a little bit. And it, we saw that turn one. Right, where yes, uh, yes, Beast got uh, Ophelia and Frank in his two inch engage, yes, uh, and and didn't they didn't get to do much mm -hmm. now? Whiffing his attacks, you know, that is a pain and that happens, but you know, um, that's part of it, uh, yeah. My goal with the end there was I was hopeful to kill your raider. And pick up the marker for that recover evidence point. Obviously. Naturally, yeah. Um, I and that's another point right there. I figured you would kill Terra, so I, I, it was more of a can I just get it done? And then with Aeonis, by if I had been able to hit that uh, non-black Joker on the damage, I did have a severe in hand to do four, which oh. would have I think. If you stoned for one, two, three, four, would have put you down for the assassinate point. Um, yeah, yeah, that would have got me. So, very close, but I mean, it's close only matters in horseshoes and hand grenades. <laughs> um, yeah, that was um, that is definitely a few things that uh, really went my way there. Because like, uh, by the time Tara was like making Raphael fast and she was back in my crew, I was definitely pretty nervous it's like well okay shoot she's gonna be able to get some evidence she's gonna mm -hmm. um you know deny me deny me dudes that can go try and leave your mark uh oh boy that's gonna be scary but luckily i mean wh what did you get one through the hole trigger like that was insane um mm -hmm. i was i was i was afraid that that was going to be a lot more restrictive than it ended up being mm -hmm. um so yeah, I mean, I, between that and some lucky flipping, um, you know, I seemed to hit what ninety percent of my attacks or something. So it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, I, any master is going to fall when that's happening. For sure, and you also happen to have a very useful crew ability for that plus um, that positive to your stat and the shielded when you get hit. So, mm -hmm. I mean, for sure, this was a great pool for Ophelia, and you brought an excellent crew for the pool. Um, oh, thanks. Pigapult to get your tools into my face turn one, uh, your offensive tools into my face turn one, is something that I think more... I won't speak for all Bayou players. I just know in my experience with Bayou, I have not seen Pigapult used in that fashion terribly often. Um, yeah, it's 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 not it's not a super common use, but it's strong. And hey, folks watching this part, if you think I'm wrong about Pigapult, let me know in the comments. I already know that you think I'm wrong about bringing Terra into Recover Evidence, <laughs> but you see, that's the thing: is I don't think Recover Evidence really bothered Terra in this playstyle. I think your crew was able to bother Terra, but I think she, I don't think this set up necessarily like hamstrung her you know what i mean yeah no totally i mean you know i guess being able to bury your own models would be nice but between um between the uh the emissary there making everyone super speedy and uh, you know i don't i don't think uh i don't think the problem was not being able to bury yourself uh in this case so I, no i think it's a good pick still yeah the it, for it, sure if I had to do it over, um, I do think Assassinate was the wrong pick for me, but my goal was to go for a cheeky berry at the end of the game to count Ophelia as dead, because if she's off the board at the end of the game, she counts as dead. Um, oh my goodness, I didn't even like think about or realize that, but that's cool. <laughs> um, 
and I kind of needed to deal with her because she is such a damage, you know, hose. You want to kill her anyway, yeah. Yeah, so... But if I had gone with my other thought, which was instead of Talos taking a... Just hiring a Void Hunter, who I am... I am consistently impressed with Void Hunters. Mm, yeah, they're um, good. That would have been a model that could, you know... I could poke it with Aeonis turn one to make it fast in my deployment zone, and it could still run mm-hmm. through all that stuff instead of Talos, who had to go around and spend a turn walking. Um, yeah. I'm also coming to the thinking... Excuse me. I'm coming to the thought of maybe trying a Terror List with out aeonis in it and i know that's kind of sacrilegious but it sounds like it yeah um he definitely got ramped up in the end game but for two turns he was 10 stone model what was he doing um pooping out a seven stone model to go into your face yeah exactly Terra, terra already had to make so i'm part of me is wondering what what does a terra crew that goes heavy into her void stuff look like so I might, mm. I might have that show up on the channel sometime soon. Um, but anyway, um, if you had to do anything different, would you do anything different? If I had to do anything different, um, you know, I'm sure if I thought for like for a little while I could think of a hundred things to do different but the first things that come to mind are um, I, I I was I felt myself scrambling like when Tara was going at the beginning of the game she went down to the to that bottom left corner obviously is setting up spread them out and it's like oh boy all my heavy hitting pieces Francois Ophelia they're up dealing with your other stuff and that's good and all but you know knowing that i had taken assassinate i was sweating bullets a bit thinking like oh man how am i going to get this damage in on terra <laughs> to get that point um and luckily it all ended up working out but um i think if i if i had to do anything different uh you know that's that's certainly somewhere where i would start it um uh knowing i had taken assassinate pay a little more attention to what your master was doing and uh kind of react um accordingly fair point um yeah and then um i was also uh same i mean it again it ended up working out so i can't complain too much but um i was getting real nervous about scoring leave your mark because um you know it's like turn two and i'm like "Ah, it's not really a great opportunity and there's stuff that i need to kill turn three uh still not really a great opportunity and Terra's in my face and mm-hmm. who am i going to get over there to do that um i kept looking for maris to get her five of tone the uh not a bomb trigger on her scheme markers uh just makes her a great take into this kind of pool um for sure and that was one yeah. of the things i was really trying to gun for about getting your um hand down to minimize the mm-hmm. costs and discards you had available to that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, she couldn't really get going there. But, you know, again, it, it ended up working out just because, um, luckily, I mean, Ophelia's crew is a, is a, is a crew that can delete models. Um, uh, so it ended up working out just by sheer number of actions i was able to pull it off so but you know i think i need to in general i'm someone who needs to focus a little bit more on my schemes earlier in the game um but i got bailed out this time so anyway no it's all good stuff well thank you for the game and you have a good one uh did you have any shout outs you wanted to make before we ended the video um no just uh Pacific Northwest Malifaux. Um, you know, we have a lot of fun here in Portland and up in Tacoma and all around. So uh, just love the crew and uh, can't wait to be playing in person again. Absolutely. Well, take care and good night, everybody. All right. See ya.